today's video, we are going to share which email marketing platform is better, ActiveCampaign or MailChimp. There's so many different email marketing platforms out there like HubSpot, ConverterKit, and many, many more. But these are just two of the popular ones. Before we get started here, we'll have links to ActiveCampaign and MailChimp down below in the description. And if you choose to use our link, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free videos like this. So thank you so much in advance for using those links. In this video, we're going to share what an email marketing service is, why you would want to use them. And then we're going to share some of the features, the pros and the cons of both MailChimp and ActiveCampaign. We're also going to talk about a couple of the things that differentiate these platforms from their competitors. Now, before we go into the overview of both of these platforms, let's briefly discuss how email marketing services work. Email marketing is a form of marketing that makes your customers aware of your new products via email. You can also advertise your discounts and other services there too. Now, practically this is done through email marketing services, and these are softwares that have customizable templates. They allow you to send campaigns and it gathers a bunch of your data, including subscribers and all of their information. One of the best features of email marketing is segmentation. You can segment your subscribers from a master list into smaller categories. And these categories can be based on interest or based on the funnel that they came through to see your product. And the main reason why segmentation is important is because you can personalize the email experience for that specific group of users. If you can narrow down why those users came to you and what they're interested in, then it's going to help increase engagement. Now that you know what email marketing services do, let's go over an overview of ActiveCampaign and MailChimp and showcase some of their main features. First, let's start with ActiveCampaign. Now, before we get into the features of Active Campaign, we just want to let you know that we have two videos on the channel about Active Campaign already. We have a full beginner course where you can learn the entire platform and we have a review of the service. So be sure to check those out if you're new to Active Campaign or if you have any interest in learning about them after this video. In this video, we're not going to go too into depth about all the services that Active Campaign has to offer. So go ahead and check out those videos for more information. The first feature is advanced automation. This is one of the best features inside Active Campaign. It's how how powerful their automation tool is. You can create advanced automation workflows that improve engagement and conversion rates. And the way to do this is through their really unique drag and drop automation tool. Another neat feature within Active Campaign that goes hand in hand with the automation is personalization and segmentation. Within Active Campaign, you can tag and segment a master list into smaller categories. This just allows you to better target certain segments of your master list. Active Campaign also has a lot of great integration features. With over 850 third-party apps that are easily able to integrate with the platform. Another neat feature about Active Campaign is the split testing. This is actually something that MailChimp does as well, but within a campaign, you can choose to split test to see which email is going to perform better. Now that we've reviewed some of the main features of Active Campaign, let's go over some of the pros and cons of the platform. The first pro is the highly customizable automation that we talked about earlier. Active Campaign is the best in the business if you're looking for automation features. This is one of the main reasons why people choose Active campaign over other platforms like MailChimp because of their powerful automation tools. They also have comprehensive reporting. Their analytics section of their dashboard is extremely detailed, and these analytics allow you to make really data-driven decisions. Active Campaign has a chatbot that's really helpful, and if that can't help, it'll connect you with a service advisor. And both of these for me have been very helpful. And lastly, Active Campaign has a 14-day free trial with no credit card required. And after that, with our special link, you do get 15% off your annual subscription. Now that we've discussed the pros, let's talk about some of the cons of Active Campaign. The first one is the learning curve. Because of how advanced the platform is and all the amazing features that it has, there is a bit of a learning curve. Now, I wouldn't say that it's too bad because of how user-friendly the platform is, but there are a lot of advanced features like the automation tool that you will need to take some time to learn. The next con is pricing. Now it's great that they have that 14 day free trial, but pricing is probably going to be a little bit of a hurdle for small businesses and solo entrepreneurs. That's not to say that Active Campaign isn't worth what they're charging. It totally is if you can afford their service, but it might be a little steep if you're just starting out. Now that we've discussed the pros and cons of Active Campaign, go ahead and click that link down below in the description and we can follow along here and we'll show you how to get your 15% off your annual subscription. And if you use our special link to Active Campaign, you actually get 15% off your annual subscription after your 14 day free trial with no credit card required. 
So be sure to take advantage of that deal in the description down below. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description. And once you've done that, it'll bring you to the startup wise and active campaign landing page. And you'll see that you can save 15% on your annual subscription with our special link. Once you're ready to get started, go ahead and enter your email address here to start your 14 day free trial. Once you've done that, go ahead and enter your name and phone number here. Next, it's going to personalize the platform for your experience. So go ahead and enter the number of contacts that you currently have for your email lists. I'm just going to say 500 for the purpose of this video and then I'm going to say that I am the only employee. Next, go ahead and select your industry. I'll go ahead and just say other. When you're finished with that, go ahead and click next. Now it's going to ask you to confirm your email. Just go ahead and do that now. Once you've entered that code, go ahead and click verify. And now it's going to ask you to set up a password. Go ahead and do that. And once you click take me to my account, after you've done that, it should set up your account. Now that you're in your account, it asks you a couple questions about what you want to explore during your trial. I'm just going to go ahead and skip those for now, but you can go ahead and answer them. Now that we're on the dashboard, we're not going to go into too much detail here. Like I said, we have a bunch of other videos on the channel about active campaign, but I'll just show you a couple of the main features here. Under contacts, you're going to be able to see your lists here. So go ahead and go to contacts and then lists. And then we have our master list. If you click on your master list, you can open it up and see all the people in your list. And if you want to add a contact manually, you can go ahead and do this in the top right hand corner. If you go over to the envelope here, you can see campaigns and you can choose what type of campaign you want to create for your first campaign. Go ahead and click create your first campaign and you'll see that you can choose from standard. You can do a split test, like we said, for A-B testing. You can do an automated, which I'll show you here in a second how to set up and a couple other options here. If you go down to the next tab here, you can go to automations. Now, this is the really powerful automation tool. We'll just show you an interactive demo here briefly. The idea is that you can segment your master list into smaller categories. And the way you tag people is based on the response or non-response that they answer to your email. So if you scroll out here, you'll see that these different users are tagged with different tags based on how they responded or didn't respond to the emails. Go ahead and check out our active campaign beginner course if you want to learn more about this automation feature. If you go to the left tab here, you can also create a pipeline for your deals and you can do that all here. And if you go to website, you can create forms and landing pages for your email newsletter. It also has powerful reporting tools like we talked about earlier here under reports. And then there's some settings that you have to adjust before you get started in active campaign just to make sure everything is working smoothly. And we talk about those all in the course, so go check that out. And everything you need to know about that is in our beginner course as well. Now that we've covered everything you need to know about active campaign, let's talk about MailChimp. Let's start with some of the features of MailChimp. The first one is email campaigns. MailChimp allows you to design and send email campaigns with a pre-made template or one that you decide to make yourself. They also have automation tools, but not nearly as powerful as active campaigns. They also have good segmentation and personalization as well. And you can make sure to personalize the emails to your subscribers based on their behavior and response to your emails. MailChimp also has analytics and reporting features, and they're going to provide you the basics of campaign performance, which includes open rates, click rates, and subscriber activity. MailChimp easily integrates with many third-party options like Shopify, WordPress, Salesforce, and it allows users to sync data between the two seamlessly. MailChimp also has landing pages and ads, and you can actually run these on your social media platforms to enhance the performance of them. And lastly, MailChimp also has A-B testing just like ActiveCampaign. This is just going to show you which emails perform better and have a higher click-through rate, and you can maximize all of those analytics. Now that you know some of the main features of MailChimp, let's go over some of the pros and cons of the platform. The first one is that MailChimp has an extremely user-friendly interface. MailChimp is known for its easy to use interface and that's why it's particularly great for beginners. Another great thing about MailChimp that isn't true about ActiveCampaign is that they have a free tier option. This is going to be particularly attractive for small businesses and solo entrepreneurs just getting started out. They also have a comprehensive template library. They have a ton of customizable templates that's really going to allow you to make a professional looking email. MailChimp also has very strong deliverability now, this is actually very important. Active Campaign has this as well. They're some of the best deliverability rates in the industry. This is just going to ensure that you have the highest possible chance when you send an email of it going to the intended receiver's inbox. MailChimp also has extensive resources and support. They have so many tutorials and videos that help you walk through anything that you might encounter on the platform. And another great feature is that they have good support in terms of a little chat bot on their site too. Now that we've discussed some of the pros, let's talk about some of the cons of MailChimp. The cost for large lists in MailChimp can get pretty expensive. Although it's really good for beginners, once you have a large amount of contacts, 
products in your list, then it might be beneficial to switch to another platform. The reason you might do this is because you can get a lot more contacts at a lower price. Another one of the cons is in the lower tier plans, you're not going to have the same automation features that you will in the higher tier plan. And nothing is really going to rival the automation features in Active Campaign. They really are the best in the business for this if you're looking to do automation exclusively. And the last con here is that there's not many advanced options for people on MailChimp. MailChimp is really a platform for beginners that are just getting started out. So if you really want some of those powerful automation tools, you're going to need to switch to a platform like Active Campaign. Now that we've discussed the pros and cons of MailChimp, let's go ahead and show you the platform and how to get your account started. Go ahead and click on that link down below in the description, and it should bring you to a page that looks like this, where you can start your free trial. Once you click start your free trial, you'll see that there's a free plan, an essentials plan that's free for one month, a standard plan that you can get free for one month and then a premium plan that starts at $350 per month. And you can see some of the features here on the free plan, you only get 1000 email sends per month, which should be more than enough. But the essentials and standard plan include a lot more than that. On the free plan, you also don't get SMS marketing, which is a new feature with MailChimp. And for the standard and premium plan, they have this generative AI beta that's really neat too. In terms of the number of seats with that free plan, you just get one and you only have one audience that you can email to. Whereas the essential plan, you get three seats and three audience. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and get started with the free plan. So let's go ahead and sign up for free. I'll go ahead and enter my business email here and a password. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click sign up. Next, it's going to ask us to verify our email. Let's just go ahead and do that now. Once you've logged in here, now it's going to ask you a little bit of information about yourself. So go ahead and fill this out. Next, it'll ask us our business address here. Go ahead and enter that information now. Then it's going to ask us for our website. So let's go ahead and enter that. The next question is how do you sell to your customers? So go ahead and choose the one that you do. And lastly, it's going to ask you to confirm your industry. And then it's going to ask you a couple of your goals with MailChimp. Just go ahead and skip this if you don't want to do that. It also wants to know the most important features for your business. You can go ahead and check this if you like. Now it says how many email contacts do you have? Let's just say zero to 500. And finally, we can get started here. It brings us to this page and we can continue for free with our free plan. Now that we're on the MailChimp dashboard here, you can see on the left-hand side, we we have campaigns, automations, audience, analytics, website, content, and integrations. And also on the top here, you can create and just go ahead and pick a template to create your first campaign. Let's just go ahead and pick this automation one and create our journey. And you can either build it from scratch or you can choose a pre-built journey up here on the right. Let's just go ahead and choose a pre-built one. And let's just welcome new contacts. And you can see that's a very popular one where we just send an email to our audience that welcomes them. So let's just use this journey. Now it's going to ask us to set up an audience. Let's go ahead and click continue. And you can see that they're automation tool pops up here and you can add different points of contact during their journey. We're not going to go into too much more depth here. We just wanted to show you how to get MailChimp up and running. Now that you've seen a little bit about both MailChimp and Active Campaign, let's get to the summary and decide which platform is best for you. Let's start with target audience. MailChimp is primarily going to be better for small and medium sized businesses. Because of the simple setup and user friendly interface, beginners are going to have a great time with MailChimp. Active Campaign, on the other hand, is still very user friendly friendly with their intuitive dashboard, but it's going to be for more advanced businesses that need those powerful automation tools. Active Campaign is just an overall more robust platform. Because of its CRM capabilities, detailed segmentation, and sophisticated automation feature, this makes it stand out as one of the best email marketing services in the business. Let's talk briefly about features and functionality. For email marketing and automation, CRM integration, and segmentation and personalization, both of the platforms are going to be great. However, in all of these categories, ActiveCampaign has the edge with more advanced tools. MailChimp can really do all of these on a basic level, but if you want the most powerful option, ActiveCampaign is going to be the way to go. For example, let's talk about CRM integration. MailChimp really only provides basic CRM features. They're primarily geared around managing email interactions. This is just going to be better for much simpler uses. On the other hand, ActiveCampaign has a fully integrated CRM system. ActiveCampaign is really meant to be your all-in-one tool to manage your client relations. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. MailChimp has the free plans, whereas ActiveCampaign only has a 14-day free trial. But as you get higher up in the MailChimp plans, they do get a bit pricey. If you're a smaller startup or a solo entrepreneur, then MailChimp is going to be great for you. But if you're a mid-sized business and you're looking to level up your email marketing, then ActiveCampaign is really going to be the best option for you. 
Depending on the features you need with Active Campaign, you can pay as little as $9 per month. But if you need those more powerful automation tools like we showed you earlier, that's going to be $149 per month. In terms of reporting and analytics, Active Campaign takes the cake here as well. MailChimp provides basic analytics and reporting features, but Active Campaign takes this to a whole nother level. The data is more detailed so you can track behavior a lot more efficiently. Overall, the decision between MailChimp and Active Campaign should be based on your specific business needs. And if you want more information on anything we talked about today in terms of Active Campaign, we'll be sure to leave all the resources that we talked about in the video in the description down below. And lastly, this channel is dedicated to providing entrepreneurs and business owners like yourself with free videos and tutorials like this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey, and we will see you in the next video.